They're the new foreign menace, lurking in bushes, skulking in alleyways, some of them even loitering around your children while they're at school. That's right, share bikes. These weren't always creepy pedophiles. They came here offering convenience to the people of Australia. But unable to assimilate, they became ostracised from society, left to a life of drugs, with some of them even turning to sex work. This damn mess of these high bikes that are being dumped all over the place, it's a mess, but we'll keep at it. We don't give up, nor do we give up on the flying foxes either. Hey, bats, rats in the sky. From the rats of the sky to share bikes, the flying foxes of the ground. Things soon went downhill, literally. These bikes don't have gears, making riding uphill impossible. And then the inevitable happens. It was on the weekend and I rode a share bike down to the bottom of the hill to get to the beach. And then um, I just couldn't get back up the hill again. Trapped at the bottom of a hill, he soon resorted to cannibalism. No, I just got a cab back up to the top of the hill. But it gets worse. The hollow frame provides substantial space for shrapnel and explosives to be packed. It's just a matter of time before someone turns one of these things into a bomb, gets onto a plane and cycles into a building. What are you doing to bicycle proof these windows? Um, well, nothing. I mean, we're on the 43rd floor, so it doesn't really Exactly. Matter. So if a whole cycling club attacked you, it could be worse than 9-11. It could even be 11 out of 11. So, sorry, no, um, so 9-11, that wasn't a score out of 11, that, that was a date. <laughs> just... mm, that's a high score for flying bomb peddlers. However, it's down on ground zero where the rubber hits the road. Well, I was walking to work like I normally do and then I saw it, so I had to walk around. And now I'm 20 seconds late to work. This is taking up more time as well. I'm going to be really late. That was just one man. But multiply that by all of Australia, and that's millions of dollars lost in productivity due to share bikes. Could this be an attempt by the Chinese government to destabilise the Australian economy? The answer is probably definitely yes. In China, share bike companies like Ofo and Mobike are pumping bicycles out of factories at an alarming rate. Terrorist activity, cannibalism and even worse, blocking footpaths. But who benefits? That's right, communism. One thing is for certain, we've got to put the brakes on before Mao's vicious cycle destroys Australia once and for all. I'm Greta Lee Jackson, ah! reporting for Tonightly Investigatesly. Ah!